seven signs you and your partner may be addicted to trauma. Yeah, from the least dramatic person that I know. Start us off, baby. <laughs> Number one, social media is your thing. You and like I don't it. I don't mean just posting, you know, every now and then or posting how you feel. I mean uh, when you feel the need to post everything every day. I hurt my foot. <laughs> my boyfriend yelled at me. Yes, especially about your partner. That my mom you, is a jerk. You continue to be with. Who liked this? <laughs> then your the attention is way more, way more important <laughs> than the well-being of yourself or your relationship. Yes, indeed. And number two would be you like to air your dirty laundry. And everybody knows what dirty laundry is. You like to put it out there. You like to put it on social media. You like to call people with it. You like to make sure that it circulates its way around your little community there. And you like to also air other people's dirty laundry because drama is king. And it's, it's entertaining. So you're going to put it up on social media and maybe express it cryptically. Uh, that's, you like, you just like to, you like that drama. Which leads us to gossip. Yes. If you become energized with gossip and the first thing you think Did is... Did you hear what I heard? Who can I tell next about this? Tell me, tell me. Yes, you may be addicted to drama. Yes, indeed. And also, creating drama is your thing. Uh, you like to get in between people and communicate and then kind of like twist the communication up. Or if you see them doing that, you're not able... We always say you're either helping or you're hurting. You're doing one of the two. If you're always falling in, you're typically falling in the hurting side or category, regardless of whether you want to believe it or not, but other people are telling you that that's happening with you, then you're probably... You and your partner are probably drama, drama king and queen or king and king or queen and queen or whatever. Uh, next is every event is portrayed as a crisis. Ah, <laughs> so the house is on fire. Yes, <laughs> when in reality, um, maybe you left the stove on for yes. like. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. <laughs> hey, and you also, number six with you, you feel alive when drama's happening. You are bored. You two are bored with each other like nobody's business until there's some drama to discuss. You got to hate on somebody. You got to discuss what they're doing. You got to discuss how much better you do it. You can't even be alone in your own house and your own head together or your heads together without there being something on the outside. Yes. You, that's what you need to stay. That's the glue that makes you stick. Uh, number seven is that you can't tell the difference between drama and trauma. There is a big difference between drama and trauma. Drama is artificial. Hold on, babe. We need to do a whole video on that one. Okay. Just, we, go ahead. No, go, really no, 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 explain. explain. Okay, so brief, brief overview. Drama is artificial, intense experiences. Ah. Trauma is true traumatic experiences that have long-term effects. Yes, yes. And That's the difference. It. That's it. And, you know, you see me acting rather dramatic during this video. If this was entertaining to you, think about it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Again, we're Charlie and Aaron with Sex Because. Feel free to share this video and you can check us out at sexbecause.com.